Jay here for Shetford Paddock. This is the Paper Talk. As you can see, I'm not outside Old Trafford. I'm at Carrington. If you want a weather update, it's a bit foggy. And the reason we're here is because tonight's game against Brentford has been called off due to COVID, due to some COVID issues, too many positive tests. The game's been cancelled. It was called off late last night. I think it was around midnight, an actual, not cancelled, sorry, postponed, I should say. Uh, it was around midnight last night that the announcement was made, which has left a lot of Reds, some Reds I've been speaking to, a little bit in the lurch, really, a little bit sort of last minute com because they've had to change plans or cancel plans or some of them are going to be out of pocket as well because of the last minute nature of it all obviously it's not ideal and um, we'll go through the little sort of chronological order of what happened how this all happened and why we've got to the point where the game has been cancelled now there was first an issue i think reported in the athletic on sunday i think it was um where it said that the united squad had been hit with uh, an outbreak of COVID-19. Now, it said the entire group that had travelled to Norwich had tested negative before the game, but a few individuals tested positive for COVID-19 prior to Sunday's training session and were sent home. So that was the first thing we had there where it was like, OK, there's a bit of an issue there. Then yesterday, we had um, news that um, United's first team operations at Carrington have been closed down for 24 hours to minimise the risk of any further coronavirus infection. So it looked like this was sort of growing and that it was disrupting, at least disrupting training. There was a little bit of question, there was some question marks as to whether that would lead to the, tonight's game or the Brentford game, sorry, being postponed at the, at the time though, yesterday afternoon, it looked like the game was going to go ahead. That We heard that the, the club, as that progressed, the club were in conversations with the Premier League about postponing it. Um, then there's also another update as well, saying that it's too early to say whether the game against Brighton will be under threat. Um, um, there was, a, I think, there was a story by James Ducker saying that um, the the number of positive Corona tests were relatively small in relation to the overall size of the first team setup. So it still looks like the the Brighton game, as far as we know, could could go ahead. We've not had any confirmation of that as yet at the time of recording this, anyway. Um, just to give a sort of wider context to this as well there was a report in the guardian i think that was yesterday as well that was late last night i should say early this morning where it said 42 premier league players and officials tested positive for coronavirus um the, the week leading up to sunday a record for a single week since testing began and more than three times the the, the 12 of the previous week so it seems that this is becoming more and more of an issue. Now, just to get into the actual statement that the club released last night, it was around, again, I say, said it earlier, it was around midnight last night, and it said Manchester United can confirm that our Premier League fixture at Brentford FC on Tuesday the 14th of December at half seven has been postponed and will be rescheduled in due course. Following PCR confirmation and posit positive LFT COVID-19 tests amongst the first team staff and players, the outbreak requires ongoing surveillance. Uh, a decision was taken to close first team operations at the Carrington training complex for 24 hours to help minimise risk of further infection and individuals who tested positive are isolating in line with Premier League protocols. Um, it then goes on to say, given cancellation of training disruptions to the squad, with the health of players and staff the priority, the club requested the match be rearranged. The the Premier League board the Premier League board took that on board basically and said, you know, it's been, been going to be rearranged. Uh, it says Manchester United regrets the inconvenience caused to Brentford FC and to the fans of both clubs by COVID-19. So there's a lot of United fans who would have been setting off this morning, would have had hotels booked, travel booked, coaches booked, all that sort of stuff who, like I say, could be well out of pocket now because of the sort of last minute nature of it. I understand that obviously with the the... Um, pandemic and what's going on you are going to see things cancelled or not cancelled sorry postponed it's just a very frustrating time when it's so last minute and you're hearing about it at midnight or many people early hours in the morning many people will woke up this morning thinking the game was on and found out when they woke up that the game is has been postponed like i said though so it is disrupting Manchester united's game it will be it remains to be seen whether the game against Brighton will go ahead. It remains to be seen whether has, this has any effects on fans in the ground, anything like that. There's a few people suggesting online that perhaps this could lead to more games behind closed doors. We obviously had pretty much half a season, didn't we, if not more behind closed doors. We'll have to wait and see whether that's going to be the case again. But as it stands at the minute, the Brighton game should be going ahead with fans in the ground, as far as we, we, we're aware of. There's not been any update to, to lead us to think otherwise. So we'll have to wait and see how this affects Manchester United's fixtures, what the fixtures are going to look like when the um, Brentford game is going to get rescheduled and whether that's going to have an adverse effect on United if the fixtures have to sort of get moved around, whether there's any sort of clash of Champions League games, or not clashes, but whether there's any games that, I mean, you don't get as many days in between 
Premier League and Champions League games. Lots of ifs and buts and maybes at the moment. The only one certainty is, is that tonight's game against Brentford, away at Brentford, is off. It's been postponed to a later date. Rescheduled is the update there, so... No Manchester United fixture tonight, which means for Shetford Paddock point of view, there won't be a watch long. We'll have lots of videos coming out though for the rest of the day. We'll give you any updates if we hear any updates, if there's any sort of if the Premier League or Manchester United make any further statements as to the nature of the Brighton game or to whether any other games are going to be rescheduled or as to when this, the Brentford game will be played. I think that's a bit too premature to, to come up with that yet. But when we hear anything, as always, we will be giving you a heads up. But yeah, just to, be re, just to recap, the game against Brentford tonight has been postponed due to a COVID-19 outbreak. We don't know the nature of the outbreak as well. We don't know who's affected, which players, how many players, anything like that, numbers and, and individual-wise. We just know that it's obviously had an effect where training yesterday had to be called off. Training on Sunday also affected that as well. So United requested to the Premier League and the Premier League have, have granted it and they said, that OK, it's obviously there's too much of an issue there for the game to go ahead. Now, we know that United haven't done this in the past. There's never, it's not like you'd expect United or think United uh, are doing this for... Any ulterior motives, you know, the game against Brentford should have gone ahead and it would have been a game that Manchester United would have been up for. And especially Ralph Ragnick on the back of two straight Premier League wins, two straight clean seats, sheets, sorry, you'd imagine, you know, he just wanted to keep that momentum going. But rules are rules and in the middle of a pandemic, you have to abide by them. So the game tonight has been postponed. So it's been a bit of a, a testing time really, hasn't it, with football recently. We had this sort of shambles that was the Champions League draw yesterday where Manchester United at first looked like we were going to be playing Paris Saint-Germain again. Then it was um, discovered or people flagged up the fact that it hadn't been done properly, that United's ball had been taken out of the pot and not put back in when it should have been. So then we had another draw where obviously we're going to be playing Atletico Madrid now, so still a tough game. Some would argue not quite as tough as the Paris Saint-Germain game, but it's not like we had a, an easy draw of it either way. And then now this as well. So, yeah, been a bit of a, a confusing, shall we say, 24 hours of Manchester United fans lot going on. Unfortunately, though, what we want to see is football matches taking place tonight against Brentford, and that's not happening. But, yeah, with the Champions League draw now, games getting called off. A lot of people, a lot of Reds leaving, uh, feeling a little bit confused and a little bit angry as well. Uh, angry and confused, wasn't that what... I think that's what Wayne Rooney said, wasn't it, about David Moyes? As always, we'll keep you updated. Don't forget to check out all the other videos we've got on the channel. We're having a look at Ralph Ragnick. There's videos up on the channel looking at what Ralph Ragnick's done, videos looking at other players. There was a Paddock podcast yesterday where there's myself, Adam McCola, Stephen Allison and Joe Smith, of course. We'll also have the Academy Review. Me and Dave's... Pritt, I know it's called Dave Smith then, he's not Joe's brother. Me and Dave Pritt coming back for the Academy Review after a little hiatus. We'll be back, we'll be talking about United's FA Youth Cup game against Scunthorpe. So there's lots to discuss there. If you're not doing, make sure you subscribe to the channel and check out Paddock Merch as well. Paddockmerch.com. The 12 Days of Paddock, we're giving away a load of um, prizes basically, including a PlayStation 5. So our members can check that out. We've got extra members content. Plus you can win a PlayStation 5 and other prizes as well. So it's all happening. Just go and check out all that stuff. I've been Jay Boy. This has been the Paper Talk outside Carrington, where United's game against Brentford, it's been announced, won't take place tonight. It's been rescheduled due to a COVID-19 outbreak. So we'll keep you posted. With any further developments, thanks for watching.